Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. This week I am drawn to the Wisdom of Oracle cards. These are by Colette Baron Reed. And it's a really great general deck. Again, I will always suggest the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck, uh, which is available in the link below. And if you're new to my channel, that's a deck that uh, was downloaded from my guides. So it's it it that it's my favorite deck. Let's be honest. However, I do also like <clears throat> excuse me to showcase other decks and uh, to give you all a sense of the different options out there because every deck speaks to you. So that's what's most important is to find the one or ones that speak to you. So let's carry on our messaging this week, which is very interesting. So I'm really curious to see what's in store for today. So I'm gonna give this one more shuffle here and then we're gonna see what Spirit wishes to share. interesting is I'm being shown uh, what I understand as the all-seeing eye, the eye of God, source, creator, universe. The, whenever, I, whenever I'm shown this image of the eye, it means the universe hears me. And the universe always hears us. God, source, creator always hears us. So do our spirit guides. But whenever I see the eye staring back at me, it's like a direct like, I hear you, which usually means watch for what unfolds. So interesting, very interesting timing of that. So let's see what the cards are here from what I cut. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Ooh, I'm going to do four. Okay, I like this a lot. So first one that makes sense is this Yang card. Now this speaks about um, action. This is the masculine principle to the feminine, right? Again, not gender-based, but just in the energetics of it. There is the energy of action underway, which we were talking about. So the manifestations that are happening are being made real in our reality. This is really that card. This card says like, look what I am bringing. The universe is like, look what's happening. Look what is unfolding for you. Don't miss it. Be in the moment so you can observe what's happening. There are many things unfolding in our favor right now. Um, oftentimes very good. Sometimes things that unfold and we're like, what is this? But really once we go through it, we, re we realize in retrospect that it was one of the best things that could have happened. So a lot of things unfolding right now, the universe bringing in the action potentials. So I really, really like this. Now the action potentials with this by the book card, this really means the action potentials have to happen step by step by step. Now, I remember one time, one time my guide said to me, Jeanette, if we gave you everything at once, you wouldn't be able to handle it. It wouldn't go well. There is a reason why things have to happen step by step. And sometimes we can jump a couple steps, right? We can take a big leap and jump a couple steps, but there is value to why things happen step by step. So this is why the universe really wants us to pay attention to the things that are happening so we don't miss it, so we don't miss those steps, right? When we're in the present moment, we're not going to miss it. That's the thing. It's not that we have to be hyper vigilant this whole time, but it's rather when we're in the present moment, we won't miss the steps and each one is going to build on the other. And so I feel I'm getting a sense right now from my guides too, that many of you are already seeing this step-by-step -step process happening, you're already noticing it. So take that into kind of your realm of truth if it resonates for you, that things are in process. It is going by the book, the pages are turning and there's goodness in your book. So you may be at a point where you're on the pages where great things are happening or you may be on the pages where it's leading into the event, the thing, Either way, it is going by the book. These action potentials are happening in a step-by-step -step process. So that being said, this is where the message really kind of divides into two parts. So you may find yourself predominantly in one or the other, maybe a little bit of both, but really pull from your resonance here because we have two things happening. 
Many of you are either in a position of, with this Between Worlds card, where you feel like you're in between. You're not quite um, in one spot and not quite in the other. You're finishing up some endings while you're kind of waiting for some beginnings to start. So you're kind of in between. Some people call this liminal space. Some people call this the void. Either way, you're in this space of not quite there yet. And that's kind of that idea of the lead up to the next pages where the action potentials happen. So in that case, if you feel you're in this liminal space, the invitation is to keep going, keep moving forward, keep, keep walking, because you're gonna keep walking from this kind of black and white into color. Remember we talked about color, right? So everything is being colored, you're walking into that color. Some of you have one foot in the old, one foot in the new, and that's okay, that's totally okay. Now, others of you with this energy of going by the book are finding yourselves in a fork, on the fork in the road. This means you have a decision to make. So for some of you, the thing that takes you out of the black and white into color is a decision you have to make. For others, you may have, you may be moving into an opportunity where you get to make a decision, and yet for others, you may have already made the decision, and now you're moving in that direction. So again, these two really play together. Notice where you're at. Are you at a point where you need to make a decision, or have you just made the decision, or recently made it, and now it's the universe that has to bring it in, but all you need to do is keep walking forward. Keep taking those steps for those action potentials, because we have the universe working in favor with the decisions that we've made. The universe has heard it, the universe is acting upon it and bringing it forward by the book, so to speak. And it's okay if we feel like we're in this little bit of liminal space, but keep moving towards the color. So I really, I love this message. I think it's a, a beautiful, beautiful flow and it resonates with a message that I got from Spirit on the Weekend, which I'll be posting soon in just a short little video of kind of exactly that thing, manifestations coming into reality now, so they require action potentials. So the fact that that's coming through in the cards is very exciting. So I'm gonna leave this with all of you. You know, in fact, I'm actually gonna post that video today. So it'll be posted at the end of this recording just so you can see the timeliness of it. Whenever something comes through energetically and then also comes through in the cards, I just find that so, so cool. So check out that video. Also check out the podcast posted yesterday. It's the June energy update. So all the things you wanna know about June, and uh, yeah, I will leave that for all of you for now. So have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for the Wednesday Wisdom with Spirit. So have a wonderful day, everyone.